I want to help you load a Leica M camera, specifically the ones um, from the M4 onward. I do read a lot of comments online that these cameras are hard to load. And that tells me that people don't read the directions <laughs> um, or just trust the directions because I mean, you read them and you're like, surely it can't be that easy, but it is. So I'm, I'm here to just show how easy it is to load these cameras. Okay, so the first time through, I just want to show you in like full speed what it looks like when I load my camera. Okay, so that was it. Um, I think it took 13 seconds, and that including, included like opening the bottom and advancing the film all the way to like a shoot frame. So it is fast and easy. But I am going to go through two more times and go through some of the details and a little bit of troubleshooting. Okay, the second time through here. All right. See how the base plate comes off, right? The twisty end first, right? And then this end second. The first time through, I didn't open the back. It's sort of optional, right? Because you're just, it just needs to lift the pressure plate up a little bit so you don't have to open it some people like to open it to so you can kind of see more um i don't know seems like an extra opportunity for dust to get in the camera so i, I usually don't open it but i wanted to show here and i kind of poke it you notice that did you see me kind of poke the film in and i want to make sure that it goes all the way in because every once in a while, it won't go all the way in. Um, and I'll say more about that in a second. But I'm just sort of showing you what it looks like when the film goes all the way in. See how this bottom metal rail sh um, shows underneath the film there? Okay, and so then I'm just kind of pulling it out, sh you know, showing you what it looks like all the way in. And then, see the picture on the bottom of the camera, right? That really is what you're doing right so i right, I pull the film into that shape right and i go between those two prongs and i pull it in it's it's pretty easy to do i do it right without looking i do it by feel now i just push you see how i sort of pushed it from both ends from the the, the close the close end and the long end just to kind of push it up in there and it's not that critical that you get this part in the perfect position. Um, it has a way of doing that by itself with that little wheel that's on the, you see that little wheel that was on the base plate, right? That's what's gonna put the film into the right position. All right, notice that as I'm advancing, I am seeing, seeing the winding wheel turn. So that's a, a good sign that it's actually turning the film. Right. I like to shoot twice and then and then actually use the th the next frame, right? So if if you're very economical, you can actually shoot the frame before that. But I just you know just to avoid maybe light piping with some films, I tend to um, advance, shoot through two frames and then shoot the third. Okay, we're gonna go through one more time, and I'm gonna say even a little bit more. Now, I'm showing you my rewind here. See how there's a little bit of a click? You can feel it. I didn't do another half wind, and that'll put the, the film in a nice position there. And I show that show this because, one, is it's nice to be able to just do that anyways. Um, I don't like to lose my leaders. I like to keep them out because I home develop, and labs often appreciate it too. Um, I you know usually do a little 
kink at the very end just so I know that I've, I've shot the film already. Um, but really why I'm showing you this is because... Why, why am I showing you this? Um, oh, because you can practice this over and over again, right? You don't... Um, Right, if you're wanting to practice your loading, right, I just kind of showed you how you can take the film out. Um, you don't want to practice with the same roll too much because, if it's, especially if it starts to kind of get bent, because um, you might actually kind of tear the film and just avoid that. But if you're gentle, you can practice this over and over again. All right now, here I'm kind of showing you that, right? I'm, I'm pretending as though the film isn't going all the way in, and that can happen when the teeth of your rewind knob and the teeth inside the, the film canister just happen to be lined up and hitting each other and it's easy to fix you just sort of rotate either the film knob or you can reach inside and turn the film canister All right, whatever you prefer just sort of you see I'm showing you with my thumbs there see that little part right just kind of wiggle that but just kind of get them out you know out of perfect alignment and then you're good to go and then it's ready to go all the way up in there you know, I'm showing you can kind of jiggle it if you need to. Usually you don't need to, right? It's like once out of every 10 tries, you'll maybe find where it doesn't quite want to go all the way in. And then, right, that last bit of like just getting that confirmation that your rewind knob is turning. Occasionally, right, if your, your, your film has uh, become unwound inside the canister, Right, it might not be to like the fourth or fifth advance that you start to see the rewind knob turn. Um, the way around that is like after you've taken a couple of shots, you can turn your rewind knob and you'll feel the tension, uh, and then your next shot will advance it. Um, so, just if you're wanting that extra confirmation that it worked, and that's all, that's it. Happy loading.